Hi guys, today's lesson is on multiplying binomials. So yesterday you learned about multiplying monomials. Today we're gonna actually multiply two things in at a time, something that has two terms. So in order to multiply binomials, you have to distribute each term in the first binomial to each term in the other binomial. So to do that, we use something that we like to refer to as the FOIL method. And what FOIL stands for is first, which is like multiplying, I'm gonna multiply the first number in this binomial times the first number in that binomial. The O in FOIL stands for outer, which means to multiply the outside numbers together. So outside to outside. Then it wants you to do the inner together. So inner means like the inside, like the B times the C. And then last is what L stands for, and that's the last in each, so like B times D. Essentially, you just have to make sure whatever goes first goes to each thing in the other binomial, and whatever term comes second goes to each piece in the binomial. So let me do an example with you. So it says x plus 2 times x plus 4. So again, if we, we follow FOIL, we're going to do first the first term in each binomial. So I'm going to do x times x. Remember, this is like an x to the first and an x to the first. And when you multiply, you add exponents. So that will become x squared. Then I'm going to do the outside, the outside two numbers, the x times the 4. And that makes 4x. Then I do I, the inside, 2 times x is 2x. And then I do the last 2, 2 times 4 makes 8. Once you do that, combine like terms. So I have a 4x and a 2x, which makes 6x. So my final answer would be x squared plus 6x plus 8. And I just leave it like that. Um, those are not like terms, so nothing can be added together. All right, let's try another example. This one says 2x plus 1 times x minus 5. So again, if I follow FOIL, I have to do my first with my first. So 2x times 1x makes 2x squared. Then I'll do the outside one. So the very outside would be the 2x times negative 5 which makes negative 10x. Then I do the inside, so the two touching each other. 1 times x is 1x. And then I do the last two in both parentheses. So the 1 times negative 5 is negative 5. Once you do that, you're going to combine like terms. So I have a negative 10x and a positive 1x. That makes negative 9x. So I'll have 2x squared minus 9x minus 5. Notice those just kind of follow down into suit. This is my answer. I can't combine an x squared and an x. All right, go ahead and try number 1 on your own. So you're doing 1 plus 8, sorry, y plus 8 times y plus 1. And if it helps, think about FOIL. First, outside, inside, and last. All right, now I'll do number two. So again, I'm going to do first k times k is k squared. Then I'll do outside k times 5 is a positive 5k. Then I'll do the inside. Negative 4 times k is a negative 4k. And then I'll do last. Negative 4 times positive 5 is negative 20. Then we can always combine that middle. So 5k minus 4k makes 1k. Bring down everything else. k squared plus k minus 20 is just your answer. Go ahead and try number 3 on your own. So do x minus 10 times x minus 4. All right, now I'm going to do number five with you. So same kind of thing here. We're just going to use FOIL. So I multiply the first 
in this binomial with the first term in that binomial. So 4x to the first times a 1x to the first makes a 4x to the second. Then I do the outside. So 4x times 3 makes 12x. Then I do the inside. Negative 7 times x makes negative 7x. Then I do last. Negative 7 times 3 makes negative 21. Then we can combine like terms in the middle because we have a positive 12x minus 7x, which makes 5x. So I have 4x squared plus 5x minus 21. And that would be your answer. All right, I would like you to try number, number six on your own. All right, now I'm gonna do number seven. So on number seven, it has three y plus one times three y plus two. So first, three y times three y makes nine y squared. Outside, three y times two is six y. Then I do the inside, one times three y is 3y, and then I do the last term in both set of parentheses. One times two makes two. Combine the middle, a 6y and a 3y makes 9y. So I have 9y squared plus 9y plus two. And that is your answer to number seven. Go ahead and try number eight on your own. Now, I would also like you to try number 10 on your own. All right, we're going to flip it over to the back. Now, these have letters instead of just numbers. You know, it has two sets of letters, two variables, but you're literally going to do the exact same thing. So let me do number 11 with you. It says 5x plus 4y times x minus y. So again, we're going to use FOIL. So when I multiply the first two terms together, I would do 5x times x, which makes 5x squared. Then I'll do the outside. So the outer in both would be 5x times a negative 1y. So this is the different part. So 5 times negative 1 makes negative 5. Then I'd have to do x times y. Well, I really can't do that. So I'm just going to write negative 5xy. Because we can't really multiply them together. We'll just make it look like they're being multiplied. Then I multiply the two inside. So 4y times 1x. Well, 4 times 1 is 4. Then again, when I multiply x times y, it'll just make xy. Then I'm going to do um, last. So 4y times negative 1y. Well, 4 times negative 1 makes negative 4. And then y times y makes y squared. Just like the last ones we've been doing, you can combine your middle. So I have a negative 5xy plus 4xy. So that makes a negative 1xy. Everything else just drops down. So my 5x squared and my minus 4y squared. And that would be your answer. All right, let me try number 12 with you. All right, so again, if we follow FOIL, I'm going to do 2a times a because that's first. So 2a times a makes 2a to the second, since I add my exponents. Then I do the outside, so 2a times negative 4b. So 2 times negative 4 makes a negative 8. Well, I still have to do a times b, but I can't really do a times b. So I just write it a, b. Then I do the inside, so 5b times 1a makes a positive 5ab, and then I do last. So 5 times negative 4 makes negative 20, and then b times b makes b squared. 
And then, of course, we can combine this middle. I have a negative 8B plus a 5AB. So negative 8AB plus 5AB is negative 3AB. Then just bring everything down. And that would be your answer. Nothing else is like terms, so that's how we're going to write it. All right, I would like you to try number 14 on your own. So if it helps, write down FOIL to follow along. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do 15 with you. So when you see something, and this is really important, we're going to see this later. When you see some binomial raised to the second power like that, this truly means, and you're going to have to rewrite it, this means to do x plus 4 times x plus 4. It means to literally do this thing twice, multiply together twice. It does not mean to distribute that. That is wrong. People think that, and that's not true. Whoopsies. It means to write x plus 4 twice and multiply it together. So that's why I have x plus 4 times x plus 4. Now we'll multiply. x times x is x squared. x times 4 is 4x. Then I do the inside. 4 times x is 4x. Then I do last. 4 times 4 makes 16. Combine your middle. A 4x and a 4x makes 8x. Everything else remains the same. And that would be your answer. All right, go ahead and try number 16. So first rewrite it and then multiply. All right, I'm going to do number 17 with you. So again, this whole thing is being raised to the second power. So this is telling me to write 2m minus 5 two times. And then I multiply. 2m times 2m is 4m to the second. 2 time, 2m times negative 5 is negative 10m. Negative 5 times 2m is another negative 10m. And then last, negative 5 times negative 5 is a positive 25. Combine your middle. A negative 10m minus 10m makes negative 20m. And everything else drops down and is the same. So 4m squared minus 20m plus 25 is your answer. All right, go ahead and try 18 on your own. The last little part here is actually multiplying a binomial times a trinomial. So we can no longer like think about FOIL, but you know how, and like, let me go back up here. We always just thought like this, in this example here that I'm showing you now, like this 2M got multiplied to the first. This 2M got multiplied to the second. I made sure that distributed to both things. Then the same thing happened with this negative 5. This negative 5 went to the first term, and then the negative 5 went to the second term. That's kind of the goal. You need to make sure that all of your terms get distributed throughout. So what that could look like is this. I'm going to first distribute this x through. So I'm going to do x times x squared. Again, keep in mind, we add our exponents, so that would make 3. Then I'm going to do x times 3x. So that would make 3x, again, add your exponents, squared. Then I have x times negative 6, and that would just make negative 6x. Then do the same thing with the 4, multiply it through. 4 times x squared makes 4x squared. 4 times 3x makes 12x. And 4 times negative 6 is negative 24. Once you've distributed both terms through, the entire trinomial, that second thing listed there, combine like terms. So I have an x cubed, but that looks like it's the only one. I have a 3x squared and a 4x squared. So that's 7x squared. I have a negative 6x plus 12x. So that's a positive 6x. And then this negative 24 is just kind of all by itself. 
right? There's nothing to combine that with either. So this would be my answer. Um, I would check, make sure it is in standard form. So remember, standard form means the highest exponent has to come first, which it does. And if there's more than one letter, it also has to be in alphabetical order. So we're good on 19. Let me also try 20 with you. So we have k minus 5 times k squared minus k minus 8. So I'm going to first distribute my k through. So k to the first times k squared makes k to the third. k to the first times negative k to the first makes negative k squared. k to the first times negative 8 just makes a negative k. Then I'll do the same thing with my negative 5. Negative 5 times k squared makes negative 5k squared. Negative 5 times negative k makes a positive 5k. Remember, this is like a 1 in front of here. So negative 5 times a negative 1 makes this positive 5. Then I have negative 5 times negative 8, and that makes a plus 40. Now we can combine like terms. So k cubed is all by its lonesome. I have a negative 1k squared and a negative 5k squared. So that makes a negative 6k squared. Then I have a negative 8k plus 5k. So that makes negative 3k. And then this plus 40 has nothing to combine with. Again, make sure it's in standard form, which mine is, because we have a k to the second or k to the third then a k to the second, then k. So it, it slowly gets smaller. All right, I would like you to try number 21 on your own. And now I would like you to try 22 on your own. Okay, so that concludes your video on multiplying binomials together and multiplying binomials times a trinomial. If you have any questions, let us know.